Hey guys, so today we have this nail tutorial inspired by Valentine's. So if you guys want to see this from start to finish, then keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so we're going to start doing nails. So the color that I'm going to be doing today is uh, Core Clear from Young Nails. Um, this is my monomer. I got this from Young Nails as well for $10. Here are my primer and my bond i think i'm gonna use this one today this one from young nails because look how bad my nails look they look all jacked up and my nails been on for how many days now for like two or three weeks and they do not want to budge so i think it's this uh protein bond like this stuff right here is bomb eye gel beauty glue and then we're gonna be doing black nails I have my uh, buffer here, my um, filer, my cuticle cutter, my brush. This one is from SoCal, but this one is messed up. So we're going to be using this one today from iGel Beauty number eight. And then my nails, I think I got these from SoCal as well. So most of this stuff is from Amazon. Um, you don't need that much stuff if you're going to be starting out with nails. So just check in Amazon. They have a lot of good deals. They have a lot of kits. And then I have my nail drill right here from Koopa. This one is, um, I think, well, like $80, 80 to $100. My sister got me this. So let's jump into the video. So here I'm just using my nail drill and going over the nails, making sure that I take any natural shine off the nails, making sure that I buff them lightly. I just wanted to say that I am not a professional. This is what I usually do on the nails. I am not being harsh on the nails um, because I've gotten that a lot where people say, oh, you're being harsh on the nails. Oh, you're not doing it right. So this is just what works for me here. I'm just taking some of my SoCal nails. These are in the shape stiletto, but I am going to be cutting them into a coffin and you just want to make sure that you press lightly on the nail so that there is no uh, lifting and that there is no air pockets or any air bubbles on the nail. So you guys, unfortunately, this is the nails when they're filled in with acrylic. I used the Young Nails Core Clear Acrylic. So I had initially recorded the clip of me filling in the nails with the acrylic, but for some reason, it just does not want to upload. Um, my phone has been giving me a problem lately. This is the first time that I can't upload certain clips for some reason. So yeah. Um, I'm just nail filing right here, just making sure that the nails are even, making sure that I file them and making sure that they're nice and straight. She wants it like coffin. Um, so that's what I'm giving her and making sure that everything is nicely um, even. Like I said, you know, I'm getting better and better. This is the first time that I actually like how I shape the nails because, you know, I'm not good with shaping. That is like probably the hardest thing for me is shaping. So I'm getting better at better at that. And also acrylic application. I'm not the best either, but it's becoming easier and easier. The more that I practice, the better I'm getting here. I'm just taking my nail drill and making sure that I go over the cuticle area, making sure that, you know, I don't have no lifting of acrylic or anything like that, but because you know, I practice every time I do her nails, obviously, and every time I do my nails, that's the only time I get to practice because I don't like to use my practice hand because it just moves all over the place and it's just not, you know, I don't like it. So, you know, I'm getting better at applying the acrylic that I'm not getting lifting or it's easier. The better you become at applying acrylic, the easier and faster time you have like shaping the nail or like filing the nail as you can see there's really nothing that I have to do to the nail 
but I just like to go over it just to make sure that everything is smooth, everything is nicely even. So just take your time when you're doing this. I know a lot of females want to get into doing nails and they are inspired by me doing my own nails and doing my sisters. You save a lot of money. You're in the comfort of your own home, you know, and you get to do what you want on your nails. You don't have to go to a nail salon and get your nails done, done with the expectation that you're going to get the results that you see from an Instagram picture and don't get that. So it's best if you learn on your own, you know, practice makes perfect. You know, I've been doing this for like a year. Yeah, a year. And really, I don't really get to practice besides me and my sister because, you know, I don't really go out there telling people that I do nails and stuff like that. And the people that know that I do nails don't tell me that they want me to do their nails. And, you know, I'm not a kiss ass. I'm not going to tell anybody. Oh, let me do your nails. Nah, I don't work like that. So do what you want and do what works for you. And if you want to get your nails done and you want to start doing them on your own practice, just don't wait and don't keep stalling. Just do it. And trust me, by the time you start realizing it, you're going to become a pro. So So right now, I'm just going to go over again with the nail file. Make sure that everything is nicely shaped um, and make sure that I give her the shape that she really wanted. I like to go over everything a couple times just to make sure that everything looks good. Here, I'm just taking my buffer and making sure that the nails is nicely smoothed out and there's not like any harsh areas or anything like that. And now I'm just taking some cuticle oil that I got, I think, from... AliExpress or something like that for like a dollar or two making sure that the cuticle area is nicely hydrated and just making sure that she's able to wash her hands and just taking any dust off her nails so we decided to use jet black in number two from iGel beauty um initially we were gonna do a matte set either in red but uh we didn't have red polish of course and we wanted to do the black and matte, but we didn't have the matte polish either. But that's okay because we still love the way that they look. So here, I'm just going over the black. I'm sorry you really can't see it. I'm not in frame. It's hard for me to, you know, make sure that the video is recording as well. Me doing her nails because I got so concentrated on the nails that I forget if the angle is good on the camera. So I'm going to see if I could buy a better stand. Here, I'm just going over the nail with a light layer, making sure that she goes under the UV light and then doing another second layer because I find that certain areas are darker than others. I know you really can't tell in camera, but in person, you can tell. So make sure that you do a light layer on the other side of the hand, on the pinky finger, on the other hand. I made the mistake of going a little too harsh on it, so it became a little gloopy. You guys will see that in the next part, but um, just go really um, take your time doing this because I know during the like the cuticle area is the hardest part and make sure that you paint the sides of the nails because I've made that mistake before or when I've been to like nail salons, they always forget to paint the side of the nails. So you want to make sure you go over that. I know in camera it doesn't look like it, but I was making sure that I was tilting the nail over to the sides just to make sure that they are pink. I just love the way that they look. OMG, they look fabulous. So these little 3D gems, I think I got them from AliExpress a while ago for like three something, I wanna say. They're really inexpensive. So we decided to use one of them on the nails. Um, and here I'm just taking some Beetle nail polish in like a Barbie pink. I got the collection from Amazon. 
it's a really really good collection also i got this little brush um a five pack from amazon as well and i really like these brush because they're really um good to work with they're really simple uh, they have different sizes longer uh, tips like brush tips and then i started to use the smaller one because that's what i'm more comfortable with this is good if you want to like hand draw on anything or do like any marble effect or anything like that so that's why um we decided to write xoxo all over the nail initially we wanted to do it in red because we did use the 3d um little gem in red but uh we didn't have red so we had to use the pink So here I'm just taking the pink on the perimeter of my nail and making sure that I go over it again to make sure that I cover all the sides because, you know, the first time I did it, the black was peeping through. So you want to make sure you go over it twice. You want to make sure she puts her nail the first time on the lamp and then you want to go over it again because it is very, very light. Um, as you can see, I'm still covering the sides of the nails so that the black is not shown through. And I just love the way that this came out. It looks super nice. As you can see, the pinky, it's gloopy at the bottom. You can see how thick it is from the gel polish. So that's why I say do a nice light layer. And here are some rhinestones that I decided to use. I just want to say, you guys, I'm laughing because as you can see, <laughs> you guys see my Mia Secrets gel glue. I had to, I it was stuck on me, so I couldn't open it because it's glue. This is the best Mia Secret gel resin glue. This is the best thing I've ever found, but it got stuck on me one day. So the only thing that I can use was a can opener to open it with so it got stuck on me and i cannot seem to get it off so that's the reason why it looks like that so <laughs> that's so funny but as you can see this is what the nails look like this nail the thumbs i wanted to do like a heart inspired it didn't turn out the greatest but that's okay it's trial and error and then the pinky i wanted to make it more of a heart it didn't turn out the way that i wanted it but they came out beautiful. I just love this set. I feel like I'm getting better at better, better at better, better and better the more I do nails. So I hope you guys enjoy this nail tutorial. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for all the love, for all the support. And we'll see you next time.